Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome back to Integrated Dynamics. Today we're taking a look at the value of operators. So today we're doing this. Let's go ahead and just jump in. So our first step right here, uh, we're in the manual and we're looking at the operator, which is the arithmetic addition operator. And we're gonna go ahead and find that in our logic programmer. So it's the search operator, right? So, and then we're gonna look at arithmetic, if I could spell addition like that. Let's go ahead and create an operator for that. So basically that's some number plus some number equals some number, but we haven't assigned any of those numbers. That's basically what they're asking us to do there. So perfect, that's that. Next thing I want us to do is create, after that, create two integer variables and find the apply. So let's go ahead and create two integers now. Let's say integer one is gonna be five. Let's go ahead and drop that in there like so. And our second integer here is gonna be, let's say six. Let's do that. So now we have two integers, one's five, one's six, and we have this operator right here. Perfect. Let's go ahead and see what's next. So apply the first integer to the operator, which will bind the first input argument of the addition operator to that integer, and we'll output a new operator with the remaining output argument. So what they're basically asking us to do is hit the apply. So I'm just gonna search for apply, which is this right here. So basically what I'm doing here is, I'm gonna put the, one of these numbers in this equation, which is like, you know, one plus one. So in this case, it's gonna be like, maybe five plus six if I were to apply both of these. So let's go ahead and hit this operator right here. And then the second one, it's gonna be my first integer. And that will also output a, uh, that will also output a uh, something right here. So let's just call this the output. Uh, let's see here, let's go like that. There we go. And then now, if I were to put this these in here right now, and I were to use this variable output right here, I would see that it's just gonna show me that we're missing, we have a number here. So that's not quite, we're, we're not finished yet, basically is what I'm trying to say. All right, let's go ahead and see what they want us to do next. So we pine it to the first argument, yes, and then we'll output a new operator with a remaining output argument. Next, use the apply operator to bind the final input argument, newly created operator. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit the apply right here. So basically this operator is gonna be five plus something. And we don't know what the something is. So this is basically what this means. So I'm gonna go hit the apply here and then I'm gonna apply six. So that means this equation right here basically is five plus six, like these two right here. So let's go ahead and drop these in here one like that. And let's put our final output right here, which is 11. So that's dynamic addition. So the big benefit of this basically is it allows us to use like a, a generic, uh, a generic uh, formula, let's say, and then we can add different numbers to that formula uh, or if we're using the, number, using the formula multiple times, that's where that comes into play. So let's go and say, hey, we got a look. That's our first advancement right here in this section of the value of operations. All right, so let's move on to the second little part of here, which is using uh, the operator, operator, I should say, the filter operator specifically, uh, and takes a list basically, and we're gonna filter that list down to what we wanna see. Uh, so let's start by creating a list of integers of one, 10, and 100. So let's go ahead and just look for a list here, and we're gonna go look for integers. So we're gonna make integer one, integer 10, and 100 like so. So let's go ahead and put a variable card in there. Perfect, so that's step one. So the next thing is we wanna do is next store the relational equals operator in a variable card, can do. So let's look for the operator relational equals, which is this guy right here. And now we have that guy right there. And our next step here is they want us to use integer of 10 and the filter operator. So let's go ahead and make an integer call this integer 10 here, like so, like that. And the last thing I was wanna do was wanna use the filter operator right here, which inputs an operator and a list. Oops, it helps when I uh, set up the right way. All right, so let's go and do this. So we want to say something equals 10. So let's go back a step here and actually do that properly. Uh, look for the apply, like so. So we're gonna have our operator right here and say something equals 10, which will give us this variable card right here. And then let's go back to the filter one we we're just looking for. So now we need to put an operator in input type one and a list in input type two and gives us a list of output. So 
Here's our operator right here. Here's our list right here. And there we go. That'll give us what we want to see. So basically what we're doing here is looking for something equals something. So in this case, anything equals anything equals true or false if they, if they equal each other. Then we had the integer 10. So we're saying here, this one says, does something equal 10? And then this is our list of list of uh, integers. So it's 1, 10, and 100. And this is our filtered list based on the fact that it will be looking for tens. So let's go ahead and put those away like so. And we're going to display this list operator on our display right here. And now we have a dynamic list filtering. And if we scroll over here, that gives us both the advancements and it gives us a bunch of variable cards. So there you go. That is those two in the value of operators uh, tutorial for integrated dynamics. All right, my name's Ian, and I hope you have a great time and enjoy yourself. Cheers.